Hey guys, this is Joey from Tech Tips and More, and I'm back with a review of a game called Hidden Folks. Let's get into it. So as I said, I am back with a review of an app called Hidden Folks. So Hidden Folks is a game, and it's a really cool game. It's all black and white, and basically if you've ever read a Where's Waldo book, it's kind of like that. So I'll show you an example. So I'll go on the first level, and... As you can see on the bottom, I've already found all the things, as you can see by the check marks. But you try and find the stuff that is listed on the bottom. So, Explorer Garland is fascinated by the tongue of this reptile. As you can see, I can see him behind... Oh no, that's not him. So you kind of just look all the way around. You can take things out of the tree. That's, that's that one, Kiki the monkey. But yeah, there's objects hidden all around the area you are looking and once you find a certain amount you can move on to the next levels and once you complete all the levels you beat the game simple as that so as you can see that one's pretty easy but I'll skip to the level I am on or one that's close to the one I'm on this one as you can see it's a huge map and there's uh, lots of stuff to find along the bottom and they give you a little description on what you're trying to look for. So yeah, that's really cool. It's uh, tons of fun, especially if you're. it brings back a kind of throwback or nostalgic feeling of the Search and Find I Spy books, Where's Waldo, and stuff like that. So what makes Hidden Folks better than the books that you would find, the Search and Find books, is that it's interactive. So as you can see, there's an X here. So I dig it up and something goes flying out and that could be one of your objects and you can cut down the plants and maybe one of the objects was hidden behind there or you have to cut this thing out and that could have been one of your objects so stuff like that which um, they didn't have in the books obviously but that makes it really fun and a lot more enjoyable the app is available on the iOS App Store and I don't think it's available on the Google Play Store I mean you can check he may have uploaded it within the time I made this video but as of right now it is not so the game is rated 5 stars, so you know you're getting a good game. Not much is rated 5 stars. There's always 4.5, four, 4, but 5, you know you're getting something good. And it does cost $3.99 or $5.99, I think, in Canada, or $5.49, actually. But there's no ads, and it's designed really well. So in my opinion, that's a good price to pay. So overall, I highly recommend this app because it is fairly cheap I mean it does cost money but it's not that much when you think about it there's no ads on it and the layout or the design is incredible and you'll be you'll be sure to have tons of fun you might waste a few hours on it but I'm sure you'll have loads of fun playing this game if you like this video please drop a like down below or comment down below if you want to see some more content like this then you might just might want to consider subscribing to my channel this has been tech tips and more peace guys